aliens have landed on Earth. Have you noticed? And most representations of what aliens might be. They have no hair. They have a shining head. And obviously they're quite alien to the nature of the human being. And they are much more benevolent. And of a higher call it consciousness. You know who fit the bill of this? The Estonians. So the aliens have landed. And they look like aliens. And they treat it like aliens. And they are not part of the human nature that prevail on Earth. Check out the Destiny America meeting, the photos on Facebook. And you'll see. It looks like a group of aliens. Then look at how the human race respond to the message of equality, the message of Jesus. The actual walking and living, the love thy neighbor as thyself. Look at how humanity respond to that. They attack it as if it is the greatest evil they have ever heard. Absolutely alienated is that which is best for all because it has been substituted by that which is best for the individual regardless of the consequences and the harm that comes that's why we have so many laws if there's no law to regulate human behavior then it's a free for all just check out how they're taking and grabbing land in Africa for biofuels at the moment fascinating so the aliens have landed and you're invited to learn from them. So come to destiny because certainly by your own lonesome self with the ego that is so big and the individual free choice idea that is not understood, you are only living in fear with no understanding what life really is. Never mind what the physical really is. So join the aliens. The aliens have landed. And currently the destiny message is like a UFO. An unidentifiable flying object because it flies over the listener's head with massive speed. And then they say, huh? I don't get it. Yes, that's what we're saying. You won't get it because you're pre-programmed. You have to first stop, breathe, realize, oh my God, somebody has programmed me to be an organic robot. And I have gone along with it without common sense, without realizing that my free choice has been completely misused to harm other living things every single day and I seem to be unable to feel anything any form of love or to care at all about what really is going on I'm only interested in my own pleasure and satisfaction and my twin souls and my soulmates isn't it wonderful I'm so alone See, the aliens at last is here to be part of the aliens so that you can leave your signature here, one of equality. You shave your head. If that is placing you in danger of losing your income, then you just keep your hair short. But you deliberately do not follow that which is part of consumerism when it comes to beauty because individual beauty is always unique so there is no beautiful being on earth if everyone is beautiful 
but consumer it, consumerism it made it something else. There's even a website, Beautiful People, that if you don't fit the bill, according to the participants, they vote who's beautiful or not, you're not allowed to be part of that group. Fascinating. Exclusivity of beauty. You know, for the Estonians, beauty is life. Doesn't matter what form it comes in, it's equal. Have you got that in you? Can you handle that? Can you grasp that? Or is that an alien idea? Certainly, according to the response we're getting from the human race, it is certainly an alien idea. But we know that what we are representing and how we are representing it and the future and the outcome of it is what is best for all life and that there is only one way to change the world and that is in a way that is best for all there is so much to realize if you haven't yet seen an alien. So, for an encounter of the first kind, and the second kind, and the third kind, come to the Destiny Forum and meet an alien.